How's it going gamers? RebelX here in the War Room and today we're looking at Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain Tips and Tricks Part 7. This will be our final video on Metal Gear. We're going to go over everything, the final elements of building up your mother base to take on the multiplayer. But finally also to how to structure your character to where you can finally take down Metal Gear itself. So let's get into that right here, right now. So as you progress further on in the main story campaign, make sure that every part of your base is at least at level 3 in terms of its build cycle. Also too is that make sure you're putting enough people on combat missions. Your best soldiers should be leveling up very quickly. Get at least a couple S ranked soldiers and A plus soldiers on your security team for multiplayer. Unfortunately though, I wasn't able to jump into multiplayer Metal Gear. Tried many many times, but the server systems are just down right now. So unfortunately don't know how to get into that at the very moment. However, as you progress further in the game, make sure that you have some of the best weapons equipped to your buddy characters. Especially Quiet, you're going to need her for the boss battle. I recommend you equip her with a powerful sniper rifle and not the flamethrower. As cool as it is for her to be running around with a flamethrower, you're going to need her for a long range uh, combat. Also too is that the D walker should also be upgraded fully as well as, you po as high as you possibly can. You need to equip him with at least a few Uzis, a couple of rockets, and also his Gatling gun. You're going to need him for different situations as you fight the skulls as I showed previously in my other videos and so on and so forth. Also too is that make sure you're equipping yourself some pretty interesting weapons, say for example the water pistol in case you run into the man on fire, which you'll discover later on in the game how to combat him. It actually isn't really a boss battle, it's more of a reveal, so don't worry about uh, fighting him in a one-on-one -on -one fight. But also too is that once you progress further in this game, you get to unlock some pretty cool sniper rifles, some good rocket launchers, and also some decoys. Make sure you upgrade your, tra your travel balloon system to where you can then take children. So when you go into Africa and take on children soldiers, you can get them out of the war zone as quickly as possible. You will get bonus points by taking those children soldiers out of the war zone, extra GMP, and so on and so forth. Now it's time for us to take down Metal Gear itself. Hopefully you have uh, Snake pretty heavily powered up by now with some pretty good weapons. You are going to need a very powerful rocket launcher to take this guy down and a few other tricks up your sleeve. So let's get into that now. Now let's talk about the buddy you need to bring along to conquer this fight. Now there's two choices. You can either choose Quiet for a decoy purpose, or you can choose a D-Walker for an all-out assault. For me, I chose Quiet, mostly because of the fact that she is a great decoy. She does some decent damage with the sniper rifle I have equipped, but that's besides the point. My main focus here was to grab Metal Gear's attention right from the start of the fight, and Quiet does that perfectly. Now at the beginning of this fight, what you're going to want to do is that make sure you have a grade uh, 3 rocket launcher with you equipped while you're fighting Metal Gear. Metal Gear has a major weakness in his chest, as you saw in the CGI earlier from being attacked by the local militia. You want to aim any high-powered weapons you have at his chest. Now, when he's bearing down on you like this, you want to call in uh, Quiet to grab his attention, but more importantly, call in your attack chopper. Now, by now, your chopper should also be at grade 3 or grade 4, at least with its weapons. The weapons can do some decent damage to Metal Gear, but everything from Quiet to the helicopter should all be used as a decoy uh, mechanism in your fight. Use your rockets. Make sure that when Metal Gear is crying out like this and making out that loud roar, call in an ammo drop. When you're trying to use your eye droid in the middle of this fight, Metal Gear will stomp on you and kill you immediately. So make sure you're using every chance you get to call in for some backup. Now, once Metal Gear is down to a quarter of his health, he will then leap to an edge and try to use his uh, laser cannon. This cannon will instantly kill you if it hits you. Run for cover as soon as you can. This is when you want to call in a major bombardment uh, support on where Metal Gear is stationed. Now, normally when Metal Gear gets hit a few times, he will leave that. So make sure you use your arm bombardment to get him off that cliff. Now, once Metal Gear is down to his last few pieces of health, he'll try to move in and kill you up close. And then when he tries to do that, a special little friend will pop up to also try to kill you as well. This little guy, as you, as you specify, he's a little psychic boy that you've been facing earlier on in the game. Shoot him. I recommend using a machine gun, not a rocket, because that rocket will blast back in your face. But then shoot him. This will actually disorient Metal Gear, allowing you to move in and shoot him in the chest. Don't aim for the head, aim for the chest. Fire a couple more rockets or a few more machine gun shots directly at Metal Gear's chest, and you will take down this pain in the butt, but actually pretty quick boss battle in the final moments, at least in Chapter 1, in Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain.
Alright gamers, that's all the time we have for today. Hope you really enjoyed our coverage of Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Keep in mind, once you complete this mission, there are actually other bonus missions you can complete that unlock a few little story elements, along with the fact of unlocking bonus missions that are a lot tougher. But I'll leave that for you guys to decide. Once again, we apologize for not covering the, the online portion of this game. The services were just down. But if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to The War Room for more coverage on more games coming very, very soon. And until then, keep it here in The War Room, and we'll see you guys next time.